I am Hiroshi Ito, the president of Japanese Society of Hypertension, JSH. Today, I will explain the comparison of ISH and JSH guidelines. This is a blood pressure classification. Office blood pressure, more than 140 over 90 millimeter mercury is a criterion of hypertension in JSH 2019, which is the same in ISH 2020. Normal blood pressure below 120 over 80 millimeter mercury. This is in contrast to ISH 2020 below 130 over 85 millimeter mercury. JSH 2019 has a category of elevated blood pressure, which implies a disease state required for intervention. JSH 2019 shows the criteria of both office and home blood pressure with equal values for blood pressure classification. This shows the risk stratification. Elevated blood pressure in JSH 2019 is regarded as having high risk when it is complicated with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, CKD with proteinuria, non valvular atrial fibrillation, or more than three risk factors. That is the case with high normal blood pressure in ISH 2020. It can be high risk if it is complicated with hypertension-mediated organ damage, CKD grade three, diabetes mellitus, or cardiovascular disease. This is blood pressure measurement plan according to office blood pressure levels. In patients with elevated blood pressure, pharmacological therapy can be initiated when cardiovascular risk is high and blood pressure control is insufficient with non-pharmacological therapy. That is the case with high normal blood pressure in ISH 2020 and 2018 ESC ESH guidelines, which indicate that drug treatment should be considered if cardiovascular risk is very high. This is a diagnosis of hypertension. In ISH 2020, the diagnosis of hypertension is made by repeated office blood pressure, but not by home blood pressure. In JSH 2019, the diagnosis of hypertension is made by office blood pressure and home blood pressure. When an office blood pressure-based diagnosis differs from a home blood pressure-based diagnosis, the latter is prioritized. This is a target blood pressure control. In ISH 2020, the blood pressure target differs at the age of 65 years, but in JSH 2019, at 75 years. In JSH 2019, blood pressure patients with cardiovascular disease coronary artery disease, diabetes, CKD with proteinuria or on anti-thrombotic drugs should be lowered to below 130 over 80 millimeter mercury, even if in the age of over 75 years. In ISH 2020, the lower limit, that is 120 over 70, is shown. JSH 2019 calls attention against excessive blood pressure lowering. This is lifestyle modifications. JSH 2019 gives concrete values to the goals. ISH 2020 gives additional goals. This is a drug treatment strategy. As first line, JSH recommends monotherapy, whereas ISH 2020 recommends combination therapy using combination tablet. In JSH 2019, Cyadile diuretics are included in first-line drugs. JSH 2019 does not mention triple combination using a single pill. In JSH 2019, beta and alpha brokers are equally recommended as MR antagonists at step four. That is all. Thank you very much.